K-I-L-R Killer game Hello uh, there, gamers, simmers, and pilots. I am the Killer Gamer. We're here with X-Plane 12. I have uh, not had a huge opportunity to do a lot of streaming, either because I haven't the time or I'm not in a good place that has good internet. Well, it just so happens that the... Uh, stars and planets are aligned and I have the time and I have really good uh, internet <laughs> coverage where I'm at right now. So yeah here we are with X-Plane 12. Uh, I've only uh, flown this like a couple of times. I was trying to do a stream uh, yesterday, but I couldn't get my uh, ortho photos to work. I got them working now. It turns out that it had to do with the overlays. Uh, I was, I didn't create the overlays from HD Mesh like I should have. I had copied the HD Mesh files uh, as overlays, and I'm like, why is this not working? Well, it's because I did it wrong. But I got it now. <laughs> so where are we going to be flying we're going to be doing just a short little flight uh, and then I might do another one uh, since I have the opportunity to do some streams I'd like to take advantage of that because I'm going to be back on the road for those of you who don't know I drive a truck I'm going to be on the road uh tomorrow I had today off what the heck was I doing today well getting x-plane 12 ready was one of the things I was doing <laughs> uh, all right so let's uh, let's go ahead and show you this is from sim brief I was trying to get navigraph uh, my subscription restarted and it won't accept PayPal it won't it like says oh we can't do it uh, it won't accept like two of the bank cards that I've got I'm like well crap so <laughs> so I pulled up Simbrief and we're gonna be flying right over here and the uh, was it the, the Domingo the Haiti Domingo Republic we're right here at Punta Cana MDPC that's the airport and we're going to be flying over here to Santo Domingo and we've got one VOR that we're going to tune in along the way and that's La Romona and it's uh, 116 point two zero. Okay. Oh, Relio, hey there. It's good to see ya. Good to see ya. I know you've been wanting to see a, a, a modern simulator. Come here, Spice. And I've been wanting to, to do one, and I just happen to have uh, the perfect opportunity to be able to stream and get some x -Plane going here. Uh, let's see. What did I say? That was 116.20? Yeah. All right. Well, let's see here. Can I remember to do how all how to do all this stuff? I don't know. We're going to find out. Well, that's not right. <laughs> there we go. 
One, one, six. I was messing with the comms. That was not what I wanted. Okay, well, hopefully that's the right four. <laughs> I don't know for sure. I mean, it's on sim, sim brief, so hopefully it is. Uh, let's see, I'm going to... What, a heading of 240? We're going to be going west. Arrow Bisecto! What's up? Haven't haven't seen you in a bit. Oh, we got Iowa Scotsman. My goodness, I haven't seen you in a while either. It's good. It's good to see you all. See you, folks. What the heck was? <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> Do you mind? I'm like right here. <laughs> You don't need to be driving through me in the aircraft. I mean, seriously. Who does that Joker think? I, you know what? He works for Swift. That's what it is. He works with those damn Swift drivers. See? <laughs> See? <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Dang Swift drivers all over the place. I don't know anyone who works for Swift. Do you? No, it's not like we're in a truck or anything, huh? <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, boy. Say hi to Spicy. Oh. I'm not mad. He freaks out. I start... <laughs> I start getting a little loud. And he's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> uh... Yeah, I apologize, folks, that I'm not able to do the types of streams that I used to back in the day. It's just, it's really hard with, uh, with the type of job that I've got and internet coverage and all that stuff. Alright, so, I have no idea where everything is at this airport. We're just going to go to a runway and take off, so let's go ahead and do that. And I do have flight controls, but um, I decided not to pull them out. <laughs> They're actually underneath my bed here. So I have to, like, move everything and then uh, pull it out and everything else. All this stuff that's in my way here. Well, you go through us, we're going to go through you, alright? See, that's how it works. <laughs> what is all this? Where am I? I don't know. I just picked a spot to, to spawn in at, so, yeah, that's what, what I did. What? What? Ow. Something I'm gonna try. I, it's if I can, if depending upon where I'm at and what kind of internet I've got. But I wouldn't mind uh, trying to do like short little flights or something like that. Anybody know where the uh, actual runway is at? <laughs> it's, it tells me it's not here. <laughs> I think. I think we're in the wrong spot. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I see something. I see something. What? What? I'm sorry. Am I being too loud? Is that the problem? <laughs> Arrow. <laughs> P3D, part six. Have I seen the next? No, I have not. There's actually going to be a sequel? Really? Well, now that I know, I'm going to have to look that up. You know what's really annoying is I had 
or I have it. I have P3D4 and P3D5 installed on a separate uh, drive. However, something had happened to my laptop and I wasn't getting uh, the ability to add Wi-Fi uh, to it. And so I had to reinstall my operating system. Uh, so my P3 installations don't work. So I have to contact them and get another activation or something. And I don't know if I can just use my existing installation after that or if I'm going to have to reinstall everything all over again. It's really, really annoying. Okay. We're going to go this way. We're going to take off from this other direction here. They're releasing it in nine days? Really? The 3rd of July? Huh. Do they have any screenshots or anything? I'm really surprised that, that they're releasing uh, P3D6. Boy, it better be good. <laughs> it better be good. Compared to X-Plane 12 and Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's got to be on the top of its game. You know, something else I'd love to get back to is VATSIM. But that is almost a near impossibility. I was talking about the stars and planets uh, aligning, right? Well, in order for me to be able to do a flight on that sim and do a live stream and be in the right place uh, that has good internet, <laughs> the stars, the planets, and even the galaxies would have to completely align in order for that to, to happen. But, you know, you never know. and it, it could happen. Where's the end of the runway? Maybe we'll just take the runway and go to the, go to the end. <laughs> Oh, why not? I do this on uh, Flight Simulator 2 and 3, right? You know, just go all the way, uh, just go into the runway and go all the way down and turn around. Why not? I don't see anyone else flying here, do you? For a consumer point of view, I have no idea how I can justify the upgrade. Uh, you know what? I would agree with you on that. There at least was some bit of a difference between four, version 4 and version 5. I don't know. Maybe they improved the clouds. Did they improve the clouds at least or do they look exactly the same? The 3D clouds from the surface, they look good, but then when you get above them, they just, I don't know, they just don't look good. What was it, the atmospheric something? I forget what it was called. It's the same volumetric cloud, so, well. <laughs> it doesn't sound very exciting. <laughs> And then Microsoft just recently announced 2024. So. I'm like reading and trying to fly at the same time. little bit more eye candy.
Well, I wouldn't do the, uh, here's the end of the runway. I wouldn't pay for the uh, professional version. Because I'm not a professional, that's why. <laughs> All right. Let's stay on the stay on the runway here. I don't think I turned all my lights or anything, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> this on, get that on, there we go, just because you all wanted a flyby. <laughs> Oh, good. Uh, the VOR is tuned in here. Whoops. There we go. All right. Wow, that was pretty close. Look at that. Pretty good guess. I only wish there was a way we could fix the trees in places that aren't supposed to be there. I do not have uh, real weather going at the moment. I just wanted the skies to be interesting and stuff. Checking to see if I missed any messages here. More bloom, okay. More, more light bloom. It does look slightly better than version 5 with the Autogen and better lighting. Even for military purposes, it still falls behind in terms of graphics. There's a new professional military sim called NOR, N -O -R, which is not released yet and uses satellite imagery and accurate today data. Honestly, though, how many of the military actually use P3D, I wonder? And if they are using P3D, what version are they using? Like, are they constantly updating it or upgrading, you know, or are they just using an older version? I wonder.
Oh, look, there's clouds on the ground. <laughs> yep. My ortho photos are working. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be seeing that. It's low-level fog, that's what it is. The lighting in the cockpit is... Okay, the lighting in the cockpit's fine. It's when I look out here, this all gets dark. All right. Well, now that we're off the ground, let's go ahead and turn off, uh, turn on the lights now. Oh, they are on. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. All right. We got 23 miles until our first VOR. And we're just going to fly low and slow. Or slow and low. Why not? Used for demos, classes, and presentations. It's also used to render the world, also on professional sims, while the other computer resource can be used to run the flight model. I was also recently told by a couple of viewers that the A2A Comanche is going to be, they got more details on that for MSFS. Yeah, that's one that I'm going to have to get, I think. I need to look into getting some planes for X-Plane 12 also. I think some of the ones I've got for X-Plane 11 will work, but I know not all of them do. You know, the thing about MSFS is I don't uh, fly it enough to really notice bugs. We got 15 miles to our destination. 
or not our destination, but the uh, the waypoint. Our first four. Oh, that looks so much better with orthophotos. When I was trying to figure out what was wrong, I kept... <clears throat> and you know how it is with X-Plane. You have to modify your scenery I and I file. So you have to load up X-Plane and then quit out of it. And then edit the, the I and I file. And then load it back up. If that doesn't work, close it down, modify whatever is in the custom scenery folder, load it back up, shut it down, so you gotta, because <laughs> you gotta move everything. So yeah, I had to do that several times. <clears throat> and several times, I'm like checking to see if they're working and I'm seeing the default scenery and stuff. Guchos, oh, hey. Good to see you. This is, I think, the first time you've been to one of my streams. Well, welcome. You're in for a good time. Now, if I was flying an airliner, you'd be in for a really good time. Uh, because landing an airliner is like backing a Swift trailer. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we have fun with those. <laughs> ah, you're on home time, that's cool. I happen to be on off time because I didn't get a I've been I've been sitting here. I'm in uh Pennsylvania. I'm at the Jonestown terminal. And, uh... Yeah, I've been sitting here with without a load uh, all day. They finally sent me one. I have to drive like 470 miles to Ohio to pick up a load on Monday and bring it all the way back here to Pennsylvania. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. They're going to pay me for it, so all right. <laughs> oh, I better tune in the next four. 114.70. Uh, where is it here? Let's see. All right, that is all set to go. So yeah, we should be hovering over, uh, hovering, flying over La, La Ramona <clears throat> pretty soon. Oh yeah, yeah, your your comment was funny. <laughs> Yes, I did make it to the uh, Memphis Terminal. I did indeed make it there. So see, if you had put in a Mac 22, <laughs> you would have seen me for a little bit. I was there for a short bit. Funny story, too. Oh, my goodness. I'm going a lot higher than what I want to go here. Uh, funny story is the uh, the load that I T called there at Memphis. Well, someone else is picking it up to deliver it. They couldn't find the they they couldn't find the trailer. Nobody could find the trailer. They're like, well, you know, it it's showing that it's in Texas. I'm like, I picked it up in Texas. I dropped it in Memphis. Well, it's showing in Texas, and so, <laughs> and they didn't respond. I sent them a message saying, well. 
You know, it's in Memphis unless it transformed and walked back to Texas. After that, they didn't. Say, <laughs> after that, they didn't say anything. <laughs> We got La Ramona up here. A white freight liner. Oh, I saw water. You're not a Jonestown, are you? So I sent a message to uh, my driver support team saying, because I don't have an empty at the moment. I'm sure there's one in the yard. But the thing is, driving all the way to Ohio, why not bobtail out there? Because I'm going to be going through Columbus, Ohio anyway. I could bobtail all the way to Columbus, get an empty trailer there, and then get set up to, to get my load on Monday. The gas mileage is going to be a lot better if I bobtail out there. <clears throat> I'm sure someone there is like, oh, that's just not how we do things. Yeah, I know. Let's make it difficult. <laughs> ah, you were at Jonestown a few days ago. Oh, you never found an empty at Jonestown? Uh, oh, Buffalo, you're not far then. Why does this keep switching to that? Okay, we got 43 more miles to go. I guess we better start our descent. We'll just make it a gentle descent. Well, if you if you're not able to find an empty trailer at Jonestown, then you know what? I'm just going to bobtail. I'm just going to bobtail out to Columbus, Ohio. Uh and then I know that there is I there's like a Walmart distribution center or something that's near there that they can get me an empty trailer at. So Whenever I can drive that truck and not have to worry about a trailer behind me, I'm all for it. I hate pulling those things. <laughs> I know, I know. It, it's. What do you mean? What's a truck driver when he doesn't want to pull a trailer? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't like pulling them. <laughs> They, you know, if, if they want to just pay me for driving a truck around the United States, I'd be good with that. But no, I got to pull a trailer with a whole bunch of crap in it. <laughs> so... About the flight sim game, yes, uh, what you're seeing, these are satellite images. We call them ortho photos. These are, these are not automatically downloaded into the sim. That's, that's the Microsoft Flight Simulator that does that. This I have to actually download with a program 
and convert it uh, for it to be used in this sim. What's nice is I don't have to be online to fly it. That is one of the big downsides that I have with Microsoft Flight Simulator. You have to be online to fly it and it's forced updates whether you like it or not. So I can get this sim configured just how I want it and I don't have to update it unless I want to update it. But with Microsoft Flight Simulator you don't have a choice. And so things break, bugs get added, bugs get fixed, it's yeah, it's all over the place. I still like the sim, it's a very pretty sim, but uh, it's also a, a pain at the same time. And then I am one of the few, if not the only, uh, streamer slash YouTube YouTuber that uh, flies the old uh, classic simulators. So, uh, one streaming series I'm working on right now is with Flight Simulator 3. I'm uh, doing a coast to coast uh, series with that one. And I might. Uh, I might do a, a flight tonight, I, I don't know. If all I'm going to do is bobtail tomorrow, then... <laughs> then I can just take off and leave. I think I've got enough fuel to get to Columbus. Famous last words. I should. I should have enough. Don't I have to get out and look? Yeah, you do have to get out and look. You have to stick your head out the window here. Like this. Oh, I can't stick my head out. Okay. But yeah, you, you get over here and you look. <laughs> Not good enough? Go Then go over, over here. Uh, move over here if you want. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. And look! <laughs> Oh, the Gary, Indiana Terminal. Yeah, there is an airport there. We might be able to do something fun like that. Not today, but... Alright, let's take a look at this link that Aero Bisector uh, posted here. Operating. We'll just... Uh, <laughs> Ah, mute that. I don't, I don't want to hear commercials. The clouds kind of look better. The lighting does look good on it. Oh, I just realized... I'm trying to watch that and it's affecting the stream. There you go. We got out. We looked. See? <laughs> this is the uh, 
the, the Dominican uh, Republic that we're flying. I've actually been planning this flight for like the past several months. I've been downloading the ortho photos and everything for this. I've got the whole uh, island. Uh, so I've actually been planning to do this flight for a while now. It looks okay. Um, I think I'll probably still get it. I'll have to get myself another drive for it. Now, what are we? Uh, 24 miles. We got 24 miles left to go. It's probably right over there we'll adjust my heading there a little bit I gotta be careful what I do on my stream because uh, if I try to play something while streaming, it tends to affect the. Because uh, I'm working on mobile internet. So. That is pretty much, oh my goodness. I didn't realize this, but we're getting close to the water. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to my, <laughs> we're like less than a thousand feet from the water. <laughs> Yeah, before you know it, we would have been going swimming here. I would have been like, huh? What? What? <laughs> I thought things were looking a little low. Uh, let's see. Let's get ourselves to... Okay, that's not working. Huh. Oh, the autopilot on this is kind of funky. I'm not quite sure how it's working. <clears throat> We'll try to get some more altitude here before we land so I can see where the heck the runway is at. Oh really? You tried the you tried the ketchup Doritos? <laughs> well go try the mustard one now. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta love those uh, taste test videos that I do. I don't know. I I think I I think I'm giving people bad ideas. <laughs> I did some other ones. Uh, there was like a, a recent thing that I found of 
barbecue popcorn. So I thought that was good. Hey, we are, oh, okay. We are 16 miles from the airport. I'm getting getting us up to about 2,000 feet. That should be good enough. Did I try the alien jerky? Yes, I did. Uh, one of those videos is up. I think and the other one is not scheduled to come out for a bit when I get a chance I'm gonna have to go back to and make a stop in Baker California I try to avoid California if I can, but the next time I wind up going through there, if I can stop at Baker, California and get some more alien jerky, I'll, I'll do that. I did pick up a couple of new flavors of G Fuel. I forgot what flavors they are. Uh, one of the Walmarts I was at recently had, they had the PewDiePie uh, flavor, so I got that again. Uh, and then they had two others, and I don't know which ones they, they were. But I'll do uh, taste tests on those, too. I'll try to get those out sooner rather than later. My daughter was telling me that the G Fuel was rather unhealthy, but I looked up, I looked it up online and compared the energy drinks and stuff, it's not as bad, so I don't know. The closer we get, the more this comes out of sync here. Okay, and I can see the airport here on the GPS. There it is right there. So it is up there. In front of us, we are 10 miles from it. I'll go ahead and we'll start dropping some flaps here. Start slowing ourselves down. Look, semi truck. Microsoft Flight Simulator doesn't have semi trucks. <laughs> X Plane does, though. They also have trains. Sometimes it's the, just the details that that matter.
I tried the Prime Energy drink too. I did a taste test on that one also. I, that one's not out either. I like how the Prime Energy drink looks just like the Prime uh, Trucking Company. 200 mi milligrams of caffeine, wow. Okay, point the gauges, uh, the pointer. Okay, so this is the artificial horizon right here. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> this lets you know if you're a level or going up or down. Uh, this is your speed, what is it, tachometer or something? Um, I was going to say speedometer, but, you know, well, that tells you how fast you're going. This is your altimeter. Tells you your altitude. This here is your uh, heading uh, indicator. Uh, what is the gyro compass? This is your turn indicator right here. Let you know how much of a bank of a turn you're doing. This is your vertical indicator. Let you know how fast you're going uh, climbing or descending. These are your navigational uh, things here. Then you got your GPS here and here. This is the autopilot. The airport is somewhere. You know, I have not figured out how to turn off the autopilot on X-Plane 12. I don't know why. There's like not a power button or something. I've never been able to find a power button on that thing. All right, now where is the airport? It should be, I think it's right next to the coast over there. All right, I'm gonna move over here. I cannot turn off the autopilot. <laughs> I do not know why. Here, let me do this. Oh, okay, that doesn't work. All right. <laughs> it's like I can turn it. I can turn on the autopilot, but I can't seem to turn it off, and I don't. There's like no button here. There's no button here to turn off the autopilot. Someone's gonna have to help me. <laughs> Maybe I need to uh, use a keyboard shortcut or something. What kind of airplane is this? This is a Cessna, a Cessna 172. Yep, there's the runway right there. All right. There's the lights. Let's turn on the landing lights there. See how close are we? Pretty close.
just so you know, this is not a proper landing, but we'll make do. It's X plane and their wonderful puddles of uh, water that are in lines. You gotta love the. Gotta love that. See, general aviation, I tend to be okay flying these. It's the airliners that mess me up. <laughs> the airliners are the ones that make the most entertaining videos, too. Oh, okay. I thought there was a taxiway here. No, there's not. And now we're turning. Come on. Turn, turn, turn. 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 <laughs> Why am I not turning? We're stuck in the mud. <laughs> Whoops. Here we go. Sit. What are we doing here? Ah! Go this way. Go to the right. Go to the right. Go to the right. Thank you. <laughs> See, you can tell I'm a swift driver. I don't know where the hell I'm going. <laughs> the thing is, is I didn't know where I was going before I became a swift driver. So, see, I joined the right company. Now, see, in the aviation world... The uh, Swift company that would uh, match would be Ryanair. So, <laughs> if you want to see the uh, the aviation version of uh, Swift transportation, all you need to do is look up Ryanair, and uh, <laughs> and you should have fun. Anyway. Air Europa! I wonder if there is a Ryanair here. There may not be. Now see, we're supposed to go park in general aviation, but we tend not to do that. We kind of do our own thing. <laughs> just because. Just because. <laughs> you know, hey, I got passengers here in the plane with me. You know, we might want to uh, go over here to where the gate is at. You know what I mean? So that way you don't have very far to walk. Or, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll go over here, over here to this gate. See, and then passengers can just get up, walk up the steps, and go right into the terminal. There's a couple of cones here. And we'll just uh, kind of go around it. What is that, an air conditioner? <laughs> it looks like there's an air conditioner right there. Ha. Ah. All right. We'll pull that out there. Oh, well, that didn't quite work now, did it? There. 
See, we can even open the door. How about that? <laughs> See, it looks like we belong right here, doesn't it? That guy over there is kind of like, what's that joker doing? Why is he parked there? He's not supposed to be parked there. All right, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here. There is another uh, flight that I want to do uh, from this airport and kind of continue to the other end of the island. But that's going to be on another stream. So thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed uh, over on Twitch, uh, you, sh you should. So that way you can see these streams before they show up on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on another video and another stream real soon. Have a killer, awesome day.